right, we're back in the Better Kitchen, and today we've got a special treat for you. Colombe Jacobson is back. You've seen her here every single week on our show. She's the editorial contributor and cooking expert for Recipe.com. Today, Colombe is going to show us how to make a tasty and healthy version of Turkish chicken thighs. Turkish chicken, not what you think, right? It's, it's delicious. delicious we're using all of these wonderful Turkish-inspired ingredients. Okay. So we're using spices, mm -hmm. um, like dried mint, okay. and also spicy paprika, which I'm going to show you how to make if you can't find it. So what I love it is you're getting the exotic flavors, but you can get these at the mm -hmm. regular grocery store. Okay, You don't have to shop good. anywhere special. So okay. um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our marinade. So mm -hmm. it's a yogurt base, okay. and we're going to make our own spicy paprika. So I'm using two teaspoons of sweet paprika uh -huh. that you find at your grocery store with a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Oh. So that makes it a little bit spicy. Yeah. And so we'll toss that into the yogurt base mm -hmm. okay. along with dried mint, which is very typical in Turkish cooking, mm -hmm. some uh, grated garlic. So we'll go ahead and pour that in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're also going to add some grated ginger. So the way I like to do this is I like to peel the, the tip of the ginger with uh -huh. the edge of my spoon. Okay. A really easy trick here. And then go ahead and grate it on the microplane. Cologne, this smells really Doesn't good. Doesn't it smell delicious? It almost smells the like mint. it's already cooking. It's it's kind of weird, but you, it smells like it's in the oven. The already. other great thing about this marinade is that the acid in the yogurt and the lemon juice helps break down the chicken, so it ah, tenderizes it. So okay. I don't know if you've ever had tandoori chicken. That's mm -hmm. how tandoori chicken yeah. is made with the yogurt. How, so how long do you leave the chicken in the marinade, though? Do you do you want to go at least an hour or up to overnight? Okay. So um, you know about 24 hours max. Okay. And here you go, here's okay. your ginger. Okay. And then, a little tip, you take the chicken and you just place it straight into a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. This is easier for storage, but okay. it's also a lot easier for getting the marinade to completely coat the chicken. Right. So I add my lemon juice. Lemon juice a tablespoon first. of lemon juice. Okay. Just kind of mix it around. Mm -hmm. And these are boneless, skinless, trimmed chicken thighs. Okay. And what and I do sometimes to Coloma, and tell me if I'm wrong, I'll, I will tenderize the meat first, then put it all in. But with thighs, do you need to do that? No, just, because the meat is so tender and juicy. It's automatic? Yeah, you're, you're okay. fine. And also with this marinade, it's going to get nice and tender. Okay. But the other thing that I think is that, you know, chicken thighs are so underrated. It's a much more cost-conscious cut of meat than They need more than attention. Breast. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, don't be afraid to try using this cut of meat if you're used to doing chicken breast mostly okay and so now gonna we're gonna go ahead there. and dump this in I'll hold that open for you and so you go ahead and seal that plastic bag and then you kind of mix it all around you can store it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. and then you want to take the chicken well, thighs Ooh, close the chicken's trying there to get out. Out. He's trying to escape <laughs> he knows he knows there you go <laughs> thanks Audra and you want to use a heat proof pan for broiling because you're going to broil it for about 15 minutes and then you're going to cook it oh, okay. for about 15 minutes. Okay. So you don't want to use a Pyrex because you might actually break the Pyrex in the yeah. broiler. Yeah. So I like to use a cast iron skillet for this. That's okay. a great a great way to um, to cook it under the broiler. You broil it first and then. Okay. Yeah, and you get it brown on top and this is what you Here's end up with. Product. It's so delicious. Here, let me show really you. Really tender. I cook this myself <laughs> just for you. And I love to cook it um, and serve it with some rice or a nice side vegetable dish. Right. It's really delicious. Look at how tiny they and are. And you can so smell tasty. all the, the nice spices. It does and smell very good. Oh, my goodness. All right, this is mine. Thank you very much, Colombe. <laughs> oh, good to see Thank you back you. again. All right, if you're looking for this recipe, you want to do this delicious dish yourself, you can go to the website, recipe.com. There you can also check out the more than 20,000 recipes. There's a lot there. Or you can pick up a copy of the magazine, which is in stores now. And if you don't know, you can also check out their new app. That is available on iTunes. It's fantastic. We tried it. We love it.